they had it in the same direction when it comes to their dreams, their ideals, and their aspirations. So I feel like many of you are definitely some type of, um, the stars are aligned, like you're being in alignment with your soul's purpose. And you're meeting a community of people who are also in alignment with their soul's purpose that might actually be on the same path as you. And the reason that I say that is we have the stars here. We have the two of wands, somebody working behind the scenes to facilitate this amazing synchronistic uh, experience for you where you can meet people who are very much like-minded, okay? Um, for those who are self-employed, you could even be working with um, for other people, but if you're getting like commission checks, royalty fees, or if you are self-employed, money looks really, really good right now. Okay, this is you like over, um, like flying over all of your emotion. Uh, I'm sorry, financial worries. So having assets, allowing things to grow for you, having money in the bank, being safe, and having enough money where it can help you facilitate travel without worries, without anxieties. So. If you are traveling to, I feel like, you know, this is like being protected, okay? So somebody is giving you like the, it's like, I don't know what it's called when you're on the airplane. I don't know if it's like tailwind where, you know, the, the airplane is like going in the same um, direction as the wind. So it's getting a little bit of a boost. So some something's working behind the scenes spiritually to kind of like facilitate the travel process for you, to expedite that process for you, or to ease the... um the snags so that you don't have, you know, um, so that you don't have to worry about accommodations. You don't have to worry about lodging. Somebody's working behind the scenes to uh, facilitate that process for you so that you don't have to worry. Okay. So smooth travel, smooth sailing is what I'm seeing. And I also feel like if you are working in whatever capacity, money is coming in. There's a lot of financial prosperity associated with this king of pentacles. This is like someone who's very practical and uh, very down to earth when it comes to their spending. They know how to save money. They know how to save for a rainy day. They know how to put away money. They know how to invest. And they're just, you know, they're, they're not spending frivolously. So I don't see emotional spending. I see you getting a really firm grip when it comes to your financial situation. And especially for those who are self-employed, I see you reinvesting a lot of resources either back into your home because this is somebody who manages real estate and property. So for some of you who own property, who uh, have like multiple um, income streams in particular, if you're renting out property, um, I see you reinvesting in your home, the maintenance and the upkeep of your home, but also you're in a position where property value is really um, in increasing. So you're getting a lot more. Like if you're looking to refinance, I feel like, you know, the, the market right now is really good for that, I believe. And then I also feel like you don't have to worry so much about your financial resources. So you're in a really stable position for those particularly who are self-employed, who are working for themselves, who are dictating their own hours. And I feel like, you know, money is coming in very plentifully. Okay. What I also have here, and this is your energy Aquarius, we have here the star. And the star is somebody who's very, very independent, okay? You guys are like self-sufficient. You know exactly what you're doing. You don't need another person to bounce ideas off of. You're also somebody who likes to keep your cards close to your chest. And I feel like um, you don't need a lot of time to mull things over. You come up and formulate a plan. For example, you want to start a business. You formulate a plan. You don't, um, and I feel like you make things happen for yourself. Okay. So this is somebody who's very inspiring to be with. They have a lot of cool ideas. And then once they kind of like, um, bring that forth into the world, it always come to fruition and it never flops. So this is someone who's really inspiring to talk to. So I feel like a lot of people will be coming in, wanting to pick your brains, wanting to talk to you, wanting to communicate with you and wanting to like really, um, learn from you. Okay. So you're, you're seen as someone who's very like magnetic in, in a, not in a forceful way. Some people have a lot of charisma and they dominate conversation. This is someone who's very soft. Their energy is very spiritual. Their energy is very low key, but they exude a really strong aura. So I feel like the way that you're coming 
across is someone who's very well traveled, a globe trotter, a person that hails from different environment, from that has traveled and lived in multiple continents, that knows multiple languages, that is seen as a like a very worldly, classy, and a world traveler. On top of that, you're very, very inspiring to be with. In addition, you are also self-employed. Uh, Career-wise, you're on top of your field. You're highly respected, highly regarded. You are financially you know, self-sufficient. You don't need another person to take care of you. You're very independent. This is like the singles lady uh, uh, card, okay? So this is someone who can take care of themselves and they don't need um, validation from other people and they don't really need another person in their lives. They, they like their alone time and they like their independence. And we have as well the Empress. And once again, somebody who rules her domain. Uh, they know what they're talking about. And when they talk, they have a, an air of authority. So all the energies from the bottom of the deck or the bottom row in the spread, all feminine energies, okay? You could be male or female watching this. It doesn't matter. But I feel like there's a lot of female empowerment happening here. Um, coming into terms with the divine feminine, um, feeling attractive in your own skin, feeling self-sufficient, feeling really, really good about your station in life and feeling like you've got everything under control. Ruling your domain, doing things in a very graceful and classy manner, not being forceful, not being pushy, not being controlling. This is someone who's really open and honest and understanding, but at the same time, um, they don't, they, they don't just sit there and listen to other people's problems. They make um, they, they find solutions for other people. They're more into like, you know, in, in terms of like group work. Let's uh, see how we all can resolve this. Let's crowdsource. Let's um, uh, give each other ideas and, and give each other feedback. So there's a lot of growth here. There's a lot of expansion. And there's a lot of this sense of uh, camaraderie because the Empress, she rules over empires as well. But she does it in a very um, soft manner. Not with like military vessels and, you know, attacks and, and being on the offensive. This is somebody that addresses problems and she makes sure that things are maintained on a regular basis throughout her empire. So she hears grievances and she, you know, consults others in order to get, uh, like to find a solution to air out or address these grievances. So it's somebody who doesn't rule with an iron fist, but they have total control and respect of their domain and their territory. And so what I'm sensing here, Aquarius, you're coming into this sense of um, like general softness about you where you're very, very much open. OK, but when I have here the Queen of Swords, this is still somebody whose head is on their shoulders. OK, um, someone who looks at life with a healthy dose of skepticism. OK, so it's not like you're walking to a situation head in the clouds, starry eyed and naive. You're still looking at things very objectively. You're able to communicate very well and you're able to see both sides of the story. OK, that um, more like Libra and energy. You're exhibiting that energy where you can see on the one hand, on the other hand, and you're able to make or arrive at practical solutions in order to resolve issues. I do see a very strong soulmate connection here that you have with another person. This person is coming in as an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is somebody who's very financially well off. Um, I see someone who is dressed really, really nicely. They work in an office where they have to wear, you know, for example, if it's a male, if you're dating men, um, they have to wear like a suit, ties, and, you know, dress shoes. They're, they're, they're dressed very immaculately, like they're just, very clean, very, um, you know, white collar, like that type of an office environment. This is someone who might have properties that they might be a business owner or they might own their own home and they're just very financially stable. They're very practical when it comes to their resources. Okay. This is also somebody who is, um, a little bit shy. I see a shyness about this person. Um, I see a little bit of a stalemate here because both parties are afraid to show their cards. Um, he doesn't, this person, he or she, they don't really express their feelings. They do things to show you that they care. They're not ones to sit around and ask, how are you feeling? What can I do to make you feel better? They, they don't ask those things. If, for example, if, uh, 
if you've been sick, they're going to ask you, hey, um, I have notes from the day that you were sick. Do you want to copy my notes? If they see that you're stressed out, they'll offer to do the laundry. They'll offer to do things around the house to, to, to alleviate the burden. If they see that you're sick, they're not going to sit there and like cuddle with you. They'll ask you, do you need me to get you food? Do you need me to get you medicine? So this is someone who loves in a very, very practical way. And I feel like they're reaching out, showing you and, and giving you little, um, gifts or little tokens of appreciation or little things that make you feel very appreciated. And then with your energy, Aquarius, I feel like you're still a little bit skeptical. Like I'll believe it if I see it. Okay, so you're not like starry eyed and naive. You're definitely your head is planted straight on your body and you're assessing and analyzing and being very, very rational when it comes to love and relationships, when it comes to what this person has to offer and really looking at this person, not just as, you know, someone who's attractive, but you're seeing does this person have, you know, relationship potential? Is this long term? Is this for the long haul? For some of you who are dealing with an uh, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, um, or even an earth sign. So you might be dealing with both of these people. I also feel like there's a really strong kindred soulmate connection, okay? Um, I believe Capricorns also received this card. So you, for some of you, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, I feel like there's a really strong power couple dynamics here. One person is very financially stable. The other person is really intelligent. One person might be very, very clean. The other person is kind of like, um, like a mad genius. And you know, Aquarius, a lot of Aquarius people, um, you can be very, very absent minded and your environment is always like organized chaos. Okay. Uh, not that you're not clean. It's just, you know, orderliness and, 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 um, putting things back where they belong. Those are not, those things are just not high on your priorities list. And so I feel like a lot of people look at your life and they're just like, wow, that person's a mad genius. But I feel like you're very intelligent. Someone sees your intelligence and really appreciates that and really wants to pick your brain and really likes the, the conversations that you, you, you have with one another. But I also feel underneath it is this undercurrent here about, you know, um, having somebody that you feel very emotionally safe with. Uh, finally, this is like nesting instinct, okay? This card, Two of Cups, this soulmate connection. But the Empress, as independent as you are, when you meet the one that you want to settle down with, um, you know. And so I feel like for Aquarius, there's this nesting instinct that's really kicking in. It hasn't been there before, but you're meeting somebody or you're made aware that, wow, this is a, a really good person. This is somebody not only, you know, are they reliable and stable? Not only are they a really good caretaker, um, I don't mind having children with this person or you guys are so um, compatible when it comes to your belief system, your ideologies. There's this power couple dynamics. You might be on the same career path. You might meet each other because your paths have crossed professionally. And you're just like, this is a really good person. And this person really compliments me. So there's a lot of mutual respect here. I also feel like if you've been kind of like um, down in the dumps, um, suffer from, you know, bad relationships in the past, you're still in this gray state, okay? You're trying to do a lot of healing for yourself with the star card. And then this person is bringing in a lot of warmth, a lot of trust, a lot of commitment. And they make you feel so incredibly safe, Aquarius, that you start to feel the the warm and the the fuzziness returning to your life and you're starting to feel like you know you're trying to fight this this soulmate connection i don't know what to do i don't know if i'm ready i don't know if i'm you know ready to give up my independence in order to join into a union with this other person because you're really really afraid that relationships will tie you down and you will be constantly you know having to spend time with another person i don't know why but aquarius are really really afraid of losing their their freedom and they feel that relationships can be very restricting and it can limit your um, free time. Like you can't be alone anymore. You have to, you know, hang out with the other person. And if you have to do hang out with them like 24-7, you don't want to get bored of them. But there is a fear as well. 
If they find out everything about me, will they also be bored of me? And Aquarius, you, you are so dynamic and so quirky and unique. No one will really get bored of you. So I feel like there's a fear here about, you know, intimacy and commitment. But I also feel like you've got nothing to worry about because this other person, they're busy as well. They're as busy as you are. So they don't need a lot of uh, together time. They give you your space. You have your independence. So you don't have to worry about losing your time to yourself or your own sense of independence when you're in a relationship with this person. And then on the other hand, I also feel like there's somebody... In your environment, I have here the Nine of Swords, and this card has been coming out a lot for you guys. Needing enough sleep, okay, needing to get enough sleep, taking care of your body, taking care of yourself, restoring your mental agility by letting your mind rest, okay? So don't stay up too late watching movies. Don't stay up too late wondering about things that will never happen or, you know, thinking about worst case scenario or re um, replaying things in your mind. Because it's a lot of wasted energy. You need to be at your sharpest. So you need to get enough sleep. Let your, it's, it's almost like, um, you know how your phone, right? If you use it all day, it runs out of battery. You have to recharge it. Your mind is the same way. Let it recharge. Otherwise, it's going to crash and die on you. Okay, metaphorically. So that means you need to allow your batteries to recharge so that you don't burn out. Okay, so I feel like you need to sleep, you need to take it easy, you really need to enjoy your environment. Sit around that bonfire with a group of friends, you know, have that communal experience where you can just sing along, where you can just enjoy the, the night sky and the, the bonfire and the music. So allowing yourself to just, you know, take whatever that comes in, okay? So that means um, go with the flow, okay? Allowing yourself to really see all these um, social engagement, all these opportunities around you and being flexible. 